Hello, it's Malcolm Torch here from Malcolm 3D, and today we're just going to be working on cloth simulation, some very basic just to get you started. So first off, I'm going to go Shift A to add in a new mesh, new plane. Press Tab to go into edit mode. Rotate X 90 degrees because I'm going to have it hanging up here. Now I'm just going to move this up. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale Z two. So I've scaled on the Z axis twice, and then I'm going to do Control R and put in an edge loop right through the middle there. From here, I'm going to press W and subdivide. Sorry, let's select all that. W subdivide, come down here into the bottom and let's just bump up those numbers there. From here, let's put it in the place we want it to go. So I'm going to dump it up here and I'm going to select the vertices, which kind of hold the flag in place. So I've selected these six vertices. I'm going to come here into the vertex data. Let's add in a new vertex group and call this pinned. Caps lock is turned on. Pinned. And I'm going to click assign. I need to assign these vertices to this group. So from here, I'm going to go into our uh, physics. Let's click on cloth. And we can see that it's disappeared, but we're on frame 226 at the moment. But if I come back up to zero, it should be back up there. So now I've got this cloth selected. I'm just going to quickly do the very basics. I'm going to expand shape and select pin group and put our pin in here. And that means it's going to dangle from those vertices up here. I'm turning on self collision, even though we don't really need that uh, for this instance. I am now going to press play and nothing really happens. We saw a little bit of a sag, but big whoop. I'm going to do shift A and we're going to add in a force field. Let's add in a wind force field. Rotate X 90 degrees minus, let's get it on the right direction, GX, whoops, GY. And let's now bump up that strength to, now let's just go 20, 50. And from here, if I press play, we can see now that our wind is being affected. Now, if I move it around, we're not really going to see much of a difference. But if I double tap R and just control the rotation, I'm going to hold shift just to, we can see now the flag is now affected. Now, if you like these videos, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out and it keeps you up to date with my content.